So this is my default Flutter application running in both iOS and Android. So in order to add the app icon for both iOS and Android, uh, first this, let's just check the default icon. So you can see this is a Flutter icon now. So in order to change first in Android, uh, we need to get the, uh, the icon image. So let's go to the Chrome. And here, let's say we have to go to app icon generator. You can see appicon.co. This is a website. You have to go there. And before that, we need to actually download the, the app icon image. For example, I just uh, write a random increment icon. It doesn't matter. Just uh, get your icon logo or image. And I'm going to save this image. And I'm going to say this icon. And I'm going to save it on my desktop and click on save. So once I do that, I'm going to open my finder and here on my desktop, I'm going to click this drag and drop here in this website, this icon PNG. And here you can see you can generate for iOS, iPad, watchOS, macOS or Android. So you can just uh, click on both iOS and Android, iPhone and Android and click on generate and this will download automatically. Now, once we do that, we go to go, we go back and if I go to downloads here, you can see that is a the app icons.zip. I'm going to unzip it. And if I open that, you can see it's for both Android and iOS. So we will need this now. So let's go back to our project. This our project is a testing project. You can see the default Flutter icon. So first let's change the Android. So let's go to the Android here. And here let's go to app. Inside app, we have a source. Inside a source, we have the debug main. Let's go to the main. And here we have a REST file. I'm in the folder. In the REST folder, you can see there is a couple of files that we need to change. So let's just open it in a finder. You can cl click on open in in finder. And let's just uh, open the both windows side by side. So here, here I have the main folder and here I have a rest folder. I'm going to go inside the rest folder. And now here we need to delete the default icons. So these five files, as you can see, min map, MIP map, these files are related to the icon. So app icon. So I'm going to delete them. And if you go to the Android, you can see there is the same files here. So I'm going to copy these five files and drag and drop here. So that's it, that's, uh, that's all about it for Android. Now we go to our project and we will close the Android. Now we will open the iOS. And for iOS, you have to open a runner. And inside the runner, you can see we have assets and this is related to app icons. So I'm going to open these assets in finder open in finder and same here i'm going to downloads here app icons and here we have assets and this is related to ios so you have to same here delete the assets and here you have to drag and drop here the new assets so that's all about it now we will go back to our project android studio and I'm going to refresh this. So for that, I'm going to stop the both Android and iOS, as you can see. And now I'm going to rerun it again. And let's give it a few seconds. As you can see, it has changed both iOS and Android. Now you can see the our app icon change it from default Flutter icon to the you can see this new generated icon. So you can see the 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 simulator as well as the emulator here. You can see the testing for Android. It's perfectly fitted. You can see the testing. You can also go back and for iOS you can also see the testing. So in this video, we have seen how to add app icon for our existing app uh, for Flutter application for both iOS and Android. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video.
I will see you in the next videos.